Thank you so much for joining me for our color grading tutorial and how to apply a loom LUTs to your raw footage. I'm working within Adobe Premiere Pro, so let's dive into our first clip. Here's a clip here, beautiful lighting. I'm gonna go ahead and come into my creative tab. Now you can also grab your input LUT from the basic correction window, but I don't prefer to use that because you won't be able to make adjustments on the intensity of the LUT you want to apply. So if you come into the Creative tab, I can come in, select Browse, select Illume, and Open. And from here, if there's any sort of intensity, if I wanna add more of this LUT to the image or I wanna use less, I can use this slider to change the intensity of the LUT. So from here, I'm gonna move into the Basic Correction tab and make a few adjustments. I'm going to add a little bit of exposure I'm gonna raise the shadows just a little bit, add some contrast, and add a little boost of saturation to their skin tones. Now let's go ahead and see what the before and after is looking like. Grab this FX, before and after. Moving into the next one, creative, browse. I'll grab a loom, and that already looks really good. That might be a one-click edit for me, but let me just add a tad bit more exposure, slightly more shadows. I might even give a little bit of tweaks to the temperature and a slight bit of saturation. Let's see the before and after. Really pretty. Moving into this one, I'm gonna go into Creative, Browse, I'm gonna select a loom soften for this one. Just kind of soften up a little bit more of the shadows in this raw footage clip. Add some exposure. Raise the shadows a little more. Add a little bit of saturation. And maybe some tweaks to the temperature and tint. There's the before and after. Moving on to this one. Their skin tones feel a little bit cool to me, so I know that I'm going to use a loom Warm. Already looking so much better. I'm gonna raise the highlights a little bit in this one. Really get that clean look on their skin tones. Add a little bit of tint since some green is cast onto their skin from the grass and add some contrast. Here's the before and after. Now this got a little bit warm in the reception room, so I'm gonna select Browse, Illume Cool, already looking so much better, adding some contrast so that the shadows don't get too lost. I might even come in and add a little bit of tint because I see some green still left in there. Maybe see what happens if we add a little bit of more exposure. And here's my before and after. So soft and pretty. Now here's a drone clip I want to grade. So I'm gonna come in, got a little bit underexposed. So I'm gonna come in and grab the Illum Boost. That's helping a lot with my exposure. I might even add a little bit more raise my shadows to taste, and some contrast back in there. Now it's still feeling a little bit cool, so I might add a little bit more temperature, some warmth to the temperature, and a little bit of saturation. You can see the before and after. Now this is a tricky one. So this, you know, obviously you can tell their skin tones are looking cool, um, their skin tones are also showing a lot of green because of the grass reflecting back up into their skin tones. So let's see if I grab a loom magenta. It's looking great so far. Their skin tones are still looking cold to me, so I'm gonna come in and add a little bit of warmth. Going to bring up the exposure a little bit. Add some saturation. Let's see what happens if I raise some of their shadows. And I'll balance that out by adding a little bit of contrast. 
Now let's see the before and after. Here's a beautiful portrait here. Let's go in and let's grab a loom warm. Now I'm already seeing that their skin tones are just too warm for me. So I'm actually going to go ahead and select a different one. Let's try a loom boost. And that's feeling much more true to their skin tones. Let's make a few tweaks here in the basic correction. I'm going to bring down the highlights a little bit, add a little bit of contrast, and then a slight bit of temperature, but not as much as I needed with a loom warm. Come in and grab a little bit more saturation for them. And let's see the before and after. Really pretty, the greens have softened, the shadows have softened, and their skin tones are looking really nice. Here we have a really beautiful reception setup, but lighting was a little tricky, so I'm gonna head and go in and grab a loom soften. Just kind of softening up the shadows a little bit more, finding a better balance between the highlights. And then since there was so much, you know, green grass here, I'm going to go ahead and add some tint, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and raise some of the highlights a little bit, bring the exposure up because I want this to, you know, come up a little bit more in the exposure. And while I'm doing that, you know what, I might bring the highlights down so that I don't lose too many. And then I'm going to add some saturation. Maybe that was a little too much. So dial it back and bring the shadows up a little bit more. Add some temperature. Now this was a pretty in-depth edit, but because the lighting was a little bit tricky, it took a little bit more but we were really able to balance it out really nicely and I'm really happy with that. Now, although Loom Lutz was created for natural lighting scenarios, it also works on receptions as well. So here is a tablescape from a reception and there's two ways you can go about this. One way I would try is to go in, grab my Loom Cool and I can kind of play from there and add some contrast back in maybe even cool it down a tad bit more, add some tint to balance it out, and let's see the before and after on that. Another way you can do that, I'm gonna left click here, I'm going to remove attributes, and I'm going to use my white balance selector and grab something that is, you know, a true white within your image. From there, I'm going to go ahead and go in and grab a loom. And then make a few more basic corrections until it matches exactly what I'm looking for. So kind of mess with the exposure a little bit, maybe the highlights, maybe even the whites, make them a tad bit whiter. And add a little bit of contrast back in. Now my highlights are feeling a little bit blown out, so I'm going to try to bring those down to save a few of them. Come over here and here's my before and my after. I hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and we are so excited to see what you create with Loom Lutz. For additional grading support, be sure to join our Facebook community group where we will be showing weekly tutorials on how we grade different scenarios in different types of light. We would also love if you tagged us on Instagram at Illum underscore Lutz or hashtag Illum graded so that we can see what you're creating. Thank you so much for listening in and we're so excited to see how your films are elevated with Illum Lutz.